Ah, uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, I, I, some, I need to bring something to y'all attention. So I saw a post on um, the shade room by Hazel E that said that she think either her ex husband, a boyfriend, somebody may have, have uh, switched out her drinking water for bleach and ammonia. Like they mix bleach and ammonia together in a bottle, and 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 and, and you know said hint that made her think that was her drinking water. Now, ever look. I'm a licensed funeral director in Obama. Through it, I went to Gupton Jones Mortuary College. Um, in in the study, that you you understand we we learned about chemicals because in order to know how to embalm somebody, you have to be you have to be savvy about these chemicals. Two chemicals that you know you're not supposed to mix: bleach and ammonia. The reason is because what's going to happen is it's going to create a gas. It'll start to separate. That is not a good combination. Your ass can't even sit in the room, let alone drink out the bottle. Now, I'm not calling his no, no liar. I'm saying maybe she might be having a misunderstanding. You understand what I'm saying? She might be mistaken about something because them two chemicals cannot coexist together. Matter of fact, better yet. Them two co chemicals can coexist together, but your ass can't coexist with them coexisting. If y'all understand what I'm saying, it's going to take you the hell up out of here. You understand? You're not going to even be able to stand in the room. Uh, it would actually explode. That The fire will come there. And if you think I'm lying, and it was people in the comments section, because I comment, I say, wait a minute, uh, bleach and ammonia will explode. You can't put them two together. And people, and somebody said, oh, well, she she didn't say what kind of container it was in. You know what I'm saying? You just assumed that it was a plastic, but boy, be quiet. A girl or whichever one you are, be quiet. It don't matter what kind of container it's in. Bleach and ammonia don't mix. It will cause a damn explosion. Why in the hell? It don't matter whether you put them in a box, whether you put them in socks, whether you mix them together on a pile of rocks. It ain't a good damn combination. If you pour it in the bathtub, it's going to do the same damn thing. Now, some of y'all was sitting there commenting on with me talking about, oh, if you dilute it with water, let me tell you something. Your ass ain't going to get an opportunity to dilute with no damn water because it's it, it's all right fine you know what go on and do it go do it and 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 let me know how it work out that that what you do go on and do it and and you stand over the bottom i mean i ain't trying i don't want you to hurt yourself all right, you y'all need to be googling some of it. Just because some of y'all use some controlled substances on a daily basis, that does not make you no chemistry major. Y'all need to learn how to be quiet when y'all don't know what the hell y'all talking about. Leave this alone. Do not mix bleach and ammonia. Y'all grown, and what you're doing, you're telling on yourself. Some of y'all in here arguing with me about mixing bleach and ammonia, and the only thing I'm getting out of this is nobody taught your ass how to clean your house. You nasty. Your mama didn't show you how to clean the house. And your grandma probably didn't clean the house neither. Your grandma probably don't like y'all. If you don't know nothing about these cleaning products, you probably got roaches. You need to go and figure out how to get your life together. Don't be up here arguing with me on, 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 on no comment section. All I'm saying is you don't don't you don't need to do that. That's all I'm saying. Don't be you can't argue with everybody about everything. Y'all being silly as hell. 